Hello fellow pipe smokers, Jan is here, back in my shop. Smoking this Peterson 03 Christmas pipe 2017 and in it some small batch San Sepulcro that I pair with my morning coffee. <coughs> well, I'm happy that the drama with Dunhill Blend or now Peterson Blend is over. Not for all, because not all the countries will at least at the beginning receive this blend. But since the lower limit for the production is 50 uh, kilos, I don't think that this will be a problem also for US and some other bigger markets. If anti-tobacco regulation will not come between that. That is something what is strange here. So not to uh, deliver new Peterson slash Dunhill blends to US market since it is so big. So it must be something with anti-tobacco regulation. And as Mark, Northeast Piper UK said, and I also mentioned that a few times, it's really important that pipers all around the world have good relations and they can trade or exchange tobaccos. Or just help each other to get the tobaccos they want. Okay, now we had a really nice week in Logger Valley. I hope you liked the videos that I posted and I hope that you actually care for that kind of a content. Uh, that it was not uh, too out of the mainstream topics this Sun Sepulchre is um, if you watched uh, Buckeye Piper's first impressions I, I, ca I have to say that, that I can go along with that as I commented I also have some end of the cigars you can see here they're being sold this is something that Peter Friedensfeife gave me when I visited Munich in July I think this can be a uh, cut of ends of Toscano cigars so if you want to get a uh, idea how this uh, tobacco tastes you can buy Italian cigars that are produced from the same dark fire that is in here from Tuscany and they are called Toscano Classico and then you have also Antico and so on and so on some other stuff but if you try Toscano Classico you will um, you will see at least how this tastes. It, it has a very similar taste because this one has also some Virginia in it. Okay. Now, I was um, at sea and then in Logger Valley and I was smoking and before that, in, in between I was at my mother's in-law place. So 
I more or less smoked all the tobacco that I had in my rotation. So, it's time to open some new blends. So the first one is a new M for a blend. This is M for a Kentucky blend. This is a new tobacco produced by McBaron. M for a pipe tobacco craft craftsmanship since 1860. Kentucky blend, a well-balanced Kentucky pipe tobacco. We have a uh, description, yes. It says, real pleasure, just moments away. And for a Kentucky blend is a harmonious blend based on more than 150 years of experience of tobacco blending. A large proportion of dark fired Kentucky is blended with high grade Virginia tobaccos to achieve the solid and smoky taste of the Kentucky tobaccos. So, the smell is okay for the beginning. We will see how this transfers to the smoke. It's ready wrapped. So the, you see pieces of flakes. And I don't think you can buy this one in Europe, if I'm um, correct. No, or in Germany, because this is the market that I follow mostly. Okay, so M for a Kentucky blend. Next one is then tobaccos, Tim mixtures. Sorry for that. I just received a phone call from my wife saying that she would like to have a coffee. She's returning from the shopping with kids. They were shopping for some school accessories and stuff they need in three weeks now when the school year begins. So London blend, hand blended pipe tobacco and this is the team mixture number London blend number 1000 produced by Dan Tobacco a full-bodied dark colored after dinner mixture African Virginia and Turkish tobaccos with high amounts of Latakia so Dan Tobacco it's English 
Metake Oriental Turkish Virginia. None of the flavoring, it's medium strength. Taste is medium to full. And the room note is tolerable. It has 3.2 rating out of 4 and this comes out of 34 reviews. This tin is from April 2015. So when I was buying these Dan Tobacco blends in the past, this one I bought in January 2017, Uh, I received a lot of, let's say, old things. Depends on when you're buying. If you're buying for a, from a tobacconist that has, that sells a lot of tobacco, then usually you get more younger things uh, or totally fresh things. And if you're buying from some smaller, smaller sellers, you can get a few years, up to three or even four years old things. So, something to have in mind. So let us open this. This is a something that was on the top. This is one of the ways how the tobacco is being sealed or packed. That I saw only on then tobacco tins, some of, some of them. So you can see this aluminum or aluminium uh, top is soft. It's not uh, hard as it was here. Not hard as this one. But soft. The tin is nicely packed all the way to the top. Let me show you the tobacco. You can see it's quite dark. Really nice smell of Latakia. Looking forward to smoking this. I think this will be this evening. And the last one will be Fife and Huber Balkan. This is like a, like a paint type tin or can, but it has really nice, really nice uh, lid says hand blended tobacco George Huber Munich Tal 22 site 1863 mm. show the tobaccos. Mm, really nice smell. This one is even su sweeter. Nevertheless that Latakia comes through quite well. Really nice smell out of the tin. I hope this will transfer to, to the pipe. Now this Balkan blend has no oriental tobaccos, so it has Virginia, Latakia, Kentucky and some black Cavendish. So this one should be strong without any flavorings, a medium 
to full or very full and the room note is tolerable to strong okay it has 3.3 rating out of 4 and this comes out of 4 reviews so guys if you are traveling um, Germany uh, and you visit München or Munich uh, this shop is at least this one is you need you need to, to visit nevertheless they have uh, also Pfeiffer and Deal and uh, Zeg Bauer Zigarren and then also uh, Tabak Sommer these are like four in the center first three are really in the uh, center of the, the city and uh, the fourth one that I mentioned was it's a little bit out but still in let's say in the center of the city so something to and they have a lot of their own blends so house blends the number of house blends at Huber uh, Fife and Huber is just I didn't see any uh, tobacco shop that has so many uh, house blends. Okay, so these three tobaccos will go into my rotation. And for a Kentucky blend, English Balkan, and team mix then tobacco, team mixtures, London blend 1000 as an English mixture. So. I hope you found this uh, tin opening and pouch opening video interesting. Interesting. I hope you're doing well. I hope your weekend is fine. And until we meet again, I wish you all a lot of pleasant smokes.